It's okay, Ethan. Just tell me. I can handle it. Oh my god. Ethan didn't give her the ring. I'm sorry. Um, you lost me. I don't know what good news you're talking about. What did, what, what did you think I had to tell you? Looks like Miguel could use a little help. It's Miguel. What about Miguel? Is he okay? I, I don't know. I don't know. I had this premonition nightmare. Somebody took him away from me. She stole him away from me. Who? Who took Miguel away from you? Hey. I appreciate you taking the time to see me tonight, Doc. I'm pretty anxious to know what's going on. Didn't Sheridan tell you about your condition? Yeah, she told me enough to know that it's pretty serious. More serious than what I thought. It is. I don't know, I just I kept getting these incredible headaches and this dizziness, and then we get this flash of bright white light so it's not like i didn't know anything wasn't wrong you know yeah so am i gonna live i mean what, what are my chances doc or, I, or am i just a dumb deal the test that i'm that i'm doing tonight should tell us something i just want to know if there's any chance for improvement Tell Sharon and something, something that's going to give her some hope. I can't predict the test, Antonio. There's always a chance. Good. Because I'm going to fight it. I've never been happier in my life. I'm in love with the most wonderful woman in the world, and, and we have a future together. We have plans together, and I have to live. I can't die now, Doc. I can't do that to Sheridan. I can't die now and leave Sheridan all alone. It's okay. Now you're allowed to be upset. The man you love is gonna die. You don't understand. Is that, is that what you think? You know, it kills me to know that my brother doesn't have much longer to live. You know, I can't even imagine what the fear of losing him is like to you. You know, I can't bear the thought of his time running out. But that's not why I'm upset. I'm upset because the man that I fear losing most, the man that I love with all of my heart and soul, isn't Antonio. It's you.
lips of the one who could sing so sweet. And I would fly on the wings of the bird I knew. Could take me high as breathe in, breathe out. You keep me alive. You are the fire burning inside of me. You are my passion for life. The MRI and the x-rays should be ready in a while. Well, can't we speed it up a little? Well, we can try. Why don't you go to the cottage, and I'll stop by when I hear something. No, I don't want to go home to shit the shirt until I have something to tell her. And hopefully, it'll be good news. I don't want you to get your hopes up, Antonio. Like I told you. Your condition's very serious. Well, I'm like I told you. I've got too much to live for to die now. Well, a positive attitude does help in cases like yours. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll go over to the book cafe and I'll just meet you there. All right. And meanwhile, I think I'll go on the internet and see if there are any doctors out there with some new ideas. And there is a specialist that I was reading about in Europe I'd like to try and contact. He's the best in his field. Okay, great. I'd like him to look at your records. I think he might be able to help. I'm sure you'll find something. Dr. Russell, I have to live. Not only for me, but for Sheridan. I'm sorry. I know this isn't fair, and I had no right to say any of that. I know that you're in love with Beth now, and I I'm sorry I shouldn't have laid all this on Ooh, you. Beth? It's okay. I mean, I, I understand. I know why you gave up on us, and it hurts, but I understand. Well, what makes you think that I'm in love with Beth? Because I saw you. Well, you saw me where? Antonio and I went to find you so that you and I could tell him together that we're engaged. We're engaged. You wanted to tell him? Yes. I couldn't bear losing you. So we went to Beth's house, and that's when I saw you two through the window. You were kissing. It hurt so much, I had to leave. But I thought maybe it was a misunderstanding. So, I went back to Beth's house. That's when I saw you two making love. That's when I realized it was over, you'd moved on. I'm sorry, Teresa, what, what news did you think I would have for you? Oh, I don't even, um, I don't even know what I was thinking. Forget about it. I'm just really tired from everything that happened with my baby. You must be exhausted. <laughs> Why don't you go to bed? Um, I'm just gonna stay awake and make sure little Ethan's okay. Of course. I'll, um, I'll bring you some coffee for upstairs. Thanks. That would be sweet. Gwen, what happened? Why aren't you wearing Ethan's engagement ring? Isn't it pretty obvious, Teresa? He hasn't proposed yet, but he's going to. And if you think that I'd be stupid enough to turn him down again, you are so wrong, because there is no way I'm going to give you another opportunity to steal him away from me. Gwen, if Ethan really loved you, no one could steal him away from you. Oh, he loves me all right. But Ethan is a, a kind and, and trusting man, and he just hasn't caught on yet to you and your tricks. Or maybe the reason Ethan hasn't proposed to you because uh, he does love me. Hmm. After all the lies you told him? Forget about it. Well, then why don't you explain the fact that you've had plenty of time alone with Ethan, and he still hasn't proposed. I can't do this, okay? Th th this is wrong. Of course you can. Okay, your mind is saying no, but your body is saying yes, Miguel. I can feel it when you kiss me back. You want this. 
Sweetie, sit back down. <sighs> okay, now tell me, who took Miguel away from you in this premonition? It's not true. It, it wasn't a real premonition. It was probably just a nightmare. It, it can't be true. I, I'm sure that it isn't. Was it Kay? Yeah, but I know that she wouldn't do that. We're like sisters. And Grace, please don't be upset. I wouldn't be paying any attention to this premonition if it hadn't been for what these weird kids came in and told me. What weird kids? They were dressed up in these Halloween costumes. One looked like Martha Stewart, the other one looked like Richard Nixon. And they came in here and they said, trick or truth. And then they told me that Kay and Miguel had made love. Okay, that's all very strange. I mean, who were these kids? I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, it was really weird. It could just be my imagination, Anne Grace. I really don't know anymore. Look, sweetie, I, I just don't think you should worry about it. I mean, no one is going to take Miguel away from you. He loves you. I know. I know he loves me. But it seems so real, Anne Grace. Sweetie, I wouldn't worry about it. Not all of our premonitions come true. You know that. Yeah, I do. I just wish I knew where it was coming from. Well, look, wherever it's coming from, I, I really don't think you should worry about it. Miguel loves you. He does. You know what, I'm, I'm gonna let you get some rest and I'll come back in real soon and check on you, okay? Okay. What are you up to now? Come on, Miguel. You know that you want to do this. Your body remembers making love to me. And it wants to feel that way again, doesn't it? N no, Kay. All right, I, I can't do this. I, I, I can't do this to Charity. I love her. Miguel. You cannot deny that you want to make love to me. Your your body is screaming out for this, isn't okay. it? Okay, yes, yes, all right, it is, all right? I'm a normal guy. I'm naked in the shower with a beautiful woman. I mean, what guy wouldn't want to make love to you? But I, I can't betray Charity. You think I'm beautiful? Of course I do. Okay, that, but that's besides the point. I love Charity. Well, you can love her, but want me, Miguel. I told you, okay, no. I can't do this. We've already done it. That was a mistake. A mistake. Miguel, it was the most meaningful night of my life, and you're calling it a mistake? Look, Kay, I don't want to hurt you. Okay, but you know that I thought I was making love to Charity. That's the only reason it happened. And I'm not going to let it happen again. Okay, I love Charity. I'm not going to do this to her. Antonio. Hey. Hey, Beth. I didn't even see you come in. How you doing? Have a seat. Thanks. So, how's Teresa's baby? My little nephew is in pretty bad shape there for a while, but he's fine now. Thanks for asking. Oh, thank goodness. Um, did you see Luis? He went to the Cray Mansion to be with Teresa and the baby. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's over there right now. I just left him. He's with Sheridan. Oh. He, he's with Sheridan? Yeah. I was at the hospital <clears throat> having some tests run with Dr. Russell. And Look, I, I know you guys thought it was for my own good, keeping my medical condition from me, but I'm glad I know now. I know. I'm sorry we couldn't tell you, but Dr. Russell, you know, she thought it was for the best. Yeah, well, now it's out and I'm going to beat this thing. Dr. Russell's actually calling a specialist in Europe to talk about me. Oh, good. Yeah. I hope something can be done and you'll be okay. I did, too. I just can't die right now. Not when I'm in love the way that I am, I, I can't lose Sheridan. Yeah. I know how you feel. Hey, shouldn't you be with Sheridan right now? I mean, wait with her for the test results? Yeah, I don't want to go home until I have some good news to tell her. 
but she's with my brother right now. I know she's in good hands, so I have nothing to worry about. <sighs> yeah. That's what you think. We both have a lot to worry about. Anyway, I... I do understand why you moved on. You thought that I'd chosen Antonio. Even though I haven't been able to tell him the truth, I never stopped loving you. I... I know I shouldn't say this, and you probably don't even want to hear it, but I love you. And... I just want you to be happy. And if Beth makes you happy, then I accept it. And I wish you all the best. Sharon. Sharon, you've got all wrong. Look, I haven't moved on with Beth. I don't love Beth. I love you. I will always love you. So, did you get the test results? It's not good news. So, so what did the test say? Your condition isn't improving. In fact, it's getting worse. Wait, wait a minute. I don't understand. Sure. I love you. Not Beth. But I saw you, you making love to her. But it's not what you think. I look at... I went over to Beth's to fix her sink, okay? And, uh, I had a couple of beers, and I hadn't eaten a thing all day, and... Look, I guess they hit me pretty hard, because... I fell asleep on her sofa... And I was dreaming. Okay, I... I was dreaming that I was making love to you. Oh, Louise. Yeah, look, it was so real, though. You know, I would've never made love to Beth. I thought it was you, Sheridan. I thought I was making love to you. Boy, but I thought Beth understood how you feel about me. Why would she just let you make love to no, her? No, no, no. Don't blame Beth, okay? Because I told her that I thought it was over between you and me. That you had chosen Antonio. I guess you had every reason to think that. Yeah. Especially after I saw you guys at the lobster shack. I thought it was over for sure. I guess we were both wrong. I could never stop loving you. You're the only man that I want to be with. You're the only woman I'm gonna be with. I love you. Oh, I thought I had lost you. I, I lost you too. You should know the answer to that question, Teresa. Ethan would have proposed to me a long time ago if you hadn't kept interrupting. I didn't do anything, Gwen. I didn't do one thing to stop Ethan from asking you to marry him. Really? So you had nothing to do with Ethan rushing off to your rescue yet again tonight? Huh? My baby almost died tonight, Gwen. I was scared to death that I would lose him. So scared, in fact, that I promised God that I would leave Ethan alone forever if he'd let my baby live. I gave up the most important man in my life. The man that I've loved since I was a little girl to save my son. Mm, how touching. The point is, Gwen, Ethan was free to ask you to marry him tonight, after the crisis, after my baby was all right. And guess what? He didn't ask you to marry him, Gwen. He didn't ask. And I had nothing to do with it. Teresa. You always have something to do with it. You are relentless in your sick and twisted obsession with Ethan. Even after he's told you time and again that he wants nothing to do with you and your lies and your deceptions. God knows that Ethan should be with me and not with you. See, he saved my baby tonight and he kept Ethan from asking you to marry him because he knows that Ethan and I belong together. So. Things are looking up for me, Gwen. My baby's all right, and I have another chance with Ethan. Mr. Ethan, you should not be serving the coffee. <laughs> I don't mind, Phyllis. Hey, not a crane anymore. 
This way you can get some sleep now. I'll stay with little Ethan until Teresa comes back. Oh, well, that's very kind of you. Mrs. Crane, she is so tired. She should really go right to bed. But I don't think she will. She's such an amazing mother. She's so bonded with little Ethan. Good night. Good night. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Phyllis is right. Your mommy is an amazing mother. <sighs> Teresa. She's a wonderful person. I love her. Guess I'll always love her. Has she changed? I don't know. Because I also love Gwen. I loved Gwen before I even met Teresa. She's a wonderful person, too. I just don't know what to do. I don't want to hurt anyone. I just want to do the right thing. Just not sure I know what the right thing is. I think Grace is probably right. Our premonitions don't always come true. I'm sure there's nothing going on between Kay and Miguel. I really shouldn't let what those kids say upset me. Why am I seeing these things? I have to find Miguel, find out what's going on. Miguel, please come back. Look, Kay, you know what happened when those weird kids came and told Charity that we made love? Right, she could have died. You know, she just had a heart transplant. I mean, she shouldn't be getting upset about anything. Leo, how did those weird kids find out about us making love anyway? I don't know, okay? But I know that Charity shouldn't be getting upset. All right, I was all set to tell her the truth, but now I know that I can. It's too risky. And if Charity saw us like this, it could kill her. Leo, just one last time, okay? Charity never even has to know. Leo, just one last time. Miguel must be taking a shower. Miguel, are you in there? That's Cherry. She cannot see us like this. Miguel? Charity. What's wrong? Why are you out of bed? Um... Miguel, I had a premonition. It was of you and Kay, and you were together, and you were you were kissing, and you were Char naked, and water was pouring over your body, and Miguel, you were about to make love. Charity, okay, you, sh you shouldn't be getting upset like this. I can't help it, Miguel. It was so real. You and Kay were together. Charity, listen to me. Okay, your premonition was wrong. Nothing like that is ever going to happen. Kay and I are never going to be together like that. All right, I have no feelings for Kay like that. I, I never have, and I never will. You're the only one I love, Charity. The only one I ever want. Look, Teresa, maybe Ethan was a little confused by everything that happened tonight. I mean, you named your baby after him, for heaven's sake. Of course, when Ethan thought the baby was dying, he's gonna run to your side. But remember, he bought the engagement ring for me. He's going to marry me. No, he's not. Hmm. Okay, fine. You know what, Teresa? You just keep living in your own little delusional world. I'm not the one who's delusional, Gwen. You've lost Ethan. Maybe you'll realize that once you see his ring on my finger, he's not going to propose to you. You know, if he were, he would have done it already. I have a chance now, and I'm going to get Ethan back. I'm sorry, Antonio. You're sure? The tests I ran are all conclusive. The swelling in your head's increasing. That's why you're having all those severe headaches. I could increase your medication. Hopefully that will lessen the pain. 
So, if I'm getting worse, what's gonna happen? I mean, what are the stages that I'm gonna go through before I die? Please, Dr. Russell, you've got to level with me. I need to know how much time I have left with Sheridan. Your headaches and the flashes of light are going to continue, and eventually you're going to go blind. What about the specialist in Europe? What did he say? I talked to him. He said that there's nothing we can do. Nothing? When you lose your sight, death is imminent. So there really is nothing you can do? I'm gonna die. Yes. Your condition is fatal. I never want to lose you. Don't ever let me go. Mm -hmm. A minute. Right here? Go lock the doors. He was fussy, but I picked him up and he calmed right down. Well, you have the magic touch. I am um, brought you some coffee. Thanks. Thanks for everything. Of course. Oh, good night. I still have a chance. I'm gonna get Ethan back. Miguel, why would I have that premonition? It was so real. Ugh. I, I don't know, okay? But you have to know that nothing like that is ever gonna happen. Now, come on, let, let's get back to your room. I don't want you worrying about anything, okay? I want you to get out of bed again, okay? Uh, you had a close call tonight. I don't want you getting all upset again. I know, I know. Look, you have to rest so you can get well, Charity. I want you to hurry up and get out of here so we can start planning our wedding. Mm, our wedding. I can't wait. Neither can I. I feel better now. Good. You know, I do not know why those kids came in here and told me that crazy lie or... Why I would have a premonition about you and Kay, but I'm all right now. I know that you would never lie to me. I mean, if there was something going on between you and Kay, you'd just tell me. I trust you. That's the one thing I can count on. That you'd never lie to me. Hey, I am so sorry. I didn't mean that. I should never have called you such a terrible Why not? name. That's what you really think of me, isn't it, Mom? No, Kay, that is not what I think of you. But how could you do this? 
You were in there with Miguel, weren't you? Did Charity see you? No, Mom. Your precious Charity didn't see me, okay? Okay, Miguel is Charity's boyfriend. He's made it clear he doesn't want to be with you. I mean, don't you have any self-respect? I mean, what is wrong with you? What's wrong with me? What's wrong with you? You come in here and you find your daughter in, in pain and crying and all you can do is attack me? Okay. No! It doesn't matter. You're right. Miguel said he doesn't love me, okay? Sweetheart, I am so sorry. Oh, no, you're not. I'm in the most pain I have ever been in in my entire life, and, and all you can do is just call me names and treat me like a piece of trash. Sweetie, I know you're in pain, and I am sorry. Forget it, Mom. I, because I know how you really feel about me. Okay. Obviously, you don't, Kay. Look, you are my daughter, and I love you, but what you are doing is wrong, and I can't condone it. You're trying to take Miguel away from charity? Mom, I He's loved him cousin. first. But he doesn't love you. He loves Charity, and she loves him. Thank you for rubbing it in. Okay, look, you brought this on yourself, and you are going to have to let it go. Miguel is never going to leave Charity for you, and I hate seeing you in this much pain. No, you don't. Mom, all you care about is Charity. That is not true. Okay, you have to know that what you're doing is wrong. You have to give up obsessing over Miguel. No. For your own sake. Mom, I am not gonna give up on Miguel. Never. Fellas, are you sure that's what he said? Oh, I am sure. He told the baby that his mommy was the most amazing mother, and he still loves you. Oh, I know it! I knew I still had a chance with him. Oh, gosh. Oh, Phyllis, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for telling me. Oh, I'm happy for you, Mrs. Crane. Thanks. <sighs> Good night. Good night. And good luck. Thanks. Hello. God has answered my prayer, little Ethan. I sacrificed my love for Ethan so that God would spare you. And now, he's given me both. You, you're fine, and you're healthy, and, and God's given Ethan back to me. Everything is going to be so perfect. Obviously, Ethan is not coming back. I'm not going to let Teresa get me upset, no. I'm going to go upstairs to Ethan's bedroom. And I'm gonna sleep. decision tonight. Is Teresa right about Ethan? Have I lost him? Antonio, I just I feel so awful. I, I don't know what to say. There's not really much to say. It's a done deal, right, Doc? Well, we're all gonna die eventually, Antonio. You could have Months, maybe even years to live. That could be weeks or days, right? I know you're not trying to discourage me, but I need to know the truth. It could be a matter of weeks or even days. Yes, but if you take care of yourself and not let yourself get upset, it can make all the difference in the world to how long you live. So what happens if I get really upset? It could kill you prematurely. Well, I guess I'll go tell Sheridan the bad news. It's gonna hit her pretty hard, but thank goodness Luis is there with her, so.
Promise me that we'll never let anything come between us again. No more misunderstandings. Oh, I promise. <sighs> I'm so glad that I was wrong about you and my brother. I don't think I could have handled seeing you two together, living in the same town and seeing you with my brother. Well, you'll never have to find out. Because I will only be with you. I've made a decision. Hmm. We need to tell Antonio about us. <laughs> yeah, but what about his condition? I'm worried about him, and I know you are too. But I almost lost you because we were afraid to tell him, and I don't want to let that happen again. Yeah. Well, I know he's going to be hurt. Maybe it won't be as bad as he thinks, you know? Maybe he'll be all right. I hope so. You know, maybe he's at the cottage. Let's go see. Yeah, we'll go. But not just yet. I'm not letting you go just yet. <laughs> you know, I missed having you in my arms so much. I am never gonna let you go. <laughs> <laughs> Tanya, do you want me to go with you when you speak to Sheridan? She might have some questions that I can answer. No, thanks. I'd just like to talk to her alone. Okay. Just remember to be careful. Your condition is critical. Any upset could cause your premature death. I'm not worried about it. The woman I love loves me, and 